Hi again, everybody. So you know that I've been playing away trying to get some uh, sort of fast booting going on a Raspberry Pi Zero. Uh, various reasons, some of which are to kind of see if we can get this running off batteries for a long period of time. Um, so I was doing, I was making some progress. Uh, I got a, a, a bare metal framework up and running, which looks great. And it then occurred to me that I've got access to all of these super duper lightweight I2C sensor drivers that uh, Julian Todd over at Does Liverpool, AKA Goat Church on Twitter, has uh, spent ages and ages putting together in, in what he calls his, his sensor kennel. Uh, he's got a really great setup with, with Jupyter uh, and remote access to, to MicroPython, mainly because we've been doing a lot of work with um, ESP8266 and ESP32 devices, which are lovely Jupyter chips, do all sorts of things, very nice. So I'm thinking, well, okay, wow, you've know, got all this code. I don't really want to um, rewrite everything to run in a new bare metal framework for the Raspberry Pi, nor do I have time. So uh, in the best principles of software development, what about we do some software reuse? Now to do that, I'd need to get MicroPython running in a bare metal way on the Raspberry Pi Zero. Hmm, can I do that? Well, the interwebs being the way they are today, as soon as you have an idea, Somebody far cleverer than you has already been there and done this, which is, is great for me. Um, and I found a, a project where somebody has, has gone and ported MicroPython to the, uh, to the Raspberry Pi. How fantastic. This is a Boo Chow on, uh, on GitHub. So shout out to you, Hat Tip. Thank you very much. This is great work. Um, so I grabbed hold of uh, Boo Chow's port, built it up put it onto an SD card and we're ready to go with uh, with my Pi Zero now, hopefully about to run MicroPython, bare metal. Now, um, when you see below me here, I've got a serial terminal on my laptop, which is connected through um, a USB to TTL serial adapter. If you know about Arduinos and Raspberry Pis and things, you'll have used those before. It's a bog standard piece of kit. So that's taking serial output from off the Pi Zero from you know whatever it's whatever it's sending out as it's booted up. Uh, so if I now um, have a go at this, I'm gonna count down and, and power the Raspberry Pi, and we will see what we see. Fingers crossed. Three, two, one, go. And we're up. It's pretty good, hey? You don't believe me, do you? I'll do it again. Three two, one, go. Isn't that fantastic? Wow. So we've got um, a little MicroPython Raspberry Pi Zero. Really fast booting. I mean, you know, you can get that down a lot with, um, you know, the microcontroller and bare metal mode, but still for the purposes of what I'm doing here, um, I think that's going to work pretty well. Now, what can we do with that? Well, first thing we could do, uh, butcher has got some uh, nice little examples of bits and pieces that you can do on this port. One of the things is that you can leverage the GPU support in, um, in the Pi. So if we grab a little bit of example code and uh, kaboom, we, we have liftoff. Wow, I can render, can render to the display. So. This is going to be fantastic. I mean, whatever we can do with MicroPython and whatever tool chains we use to to sort of develop with MicroPython, I think this is particularly useful in in STEM and, and that type of thing. We're now going to be able to do that with a more powerful Raspberry Pi. Hmm. It's interesting, isn't it? Think about that.